Hello everyone and welcome to today's lesson. Today we will be learning about data handling and the topics in today's chapter are pictorial representation, bar graph and tally marks. So let's start with pictorial representation of data. Information that we collect in the raw form is called data. This data can be represented in various ways. It can be done in pictorial representation or as a bar graph or even as tally marks. Pictorial representation. Now, here is a pictograph showing the number of trees in a garden. Have a look at this and answer some questions. Here we have a pictograph showing the different trees in a garden. We have papaya, palm, mango, neem, banana and guava. Each picture represents six trees. Now, using this pictograph, Let's answer some questions. How many papaya trees are in the garden? Since each picture represents six trees and we have six pictures for papaya, we can say that the number of papaya trees is six into six, 36 trees. Which type of tree is the least and the most? Find the number of each. We can see that Neem has the least number of trees which is 3 into 6, 18 trees. The most number of trees are mango trees, which are 7 into 6, that is 42 trees. Find the difference between the number of neem trees and palm trees. We can see that there are 5 into 6, which is 30 palm trees, and 3 into 6, 18 neem trees. So 30 minus 18 is 12 trees. Find the total number of trees in the garden. The total number of trees would be the total number of pictures into 6, which is 31 pictures into 6, which is 186 trees. Bar graph. In a bar graph, data is represented using rectangles of equal width and with equal distance between them. These rectangles are called bars. We draw bars using a scale. Now let's see some examples to understand bar graphs better. Here is a table showing the data of the co-curricular activities of students of grade 5 in a school. We have 24 students who chose art and craft, 40 who chose music, 36 who chose sports, and 50 students chose theatre. The first step in drawing a bar graph is to select the scale. Let's say the scale is 1 cm is equal to 10 units. We now draw the horizontal and vertical axis. The horizontal axis tells us about the co-curricular activities and the vertical axis tells us about the number of students. Then proceed to draw the bars. The first bar at 24 for art and craft. Second bar at 40 for music. The third is at 36 for sports and the fourth is at 50 for theatre. Now, observe this bar graph and answer some questions. The bar graph shows the rainfall in centimetres at a place during five months of a year. We can see that the scale of the graph is one centimetre is equal to two units. And the months are June, July, August, September and October. In which month was the rainfall maximum? The rainfall was maximum in July with 10 centimetres of rainfall. How much was the rainfall in September? The rainfall in September was 4 cm. Which month was the driest? We can see that October was the driest month with a rainfall of 2 cm. Now I hope you understood that. Let's test it with an exercise. Here is a table showing the hobbies of some boys. We have music, sports, painting and reading. 20 boys have a hobby of music. 35 of sports, 25 of painting, and 20 of reading. So let's make a bar graph of this information. We first select the scale for our graph, which is 1 cm is equal to 5 units. We now draw the horizontal and vertical axis. The horizontal axis tells us about the hobbies, and the vertical axis tells us about the number of boys. After this, we start drawing the bars. 
The first bar for music would be at 20. The second for sports would be at 35. The third for painting would be at 25. And the fourth for reading would be at 20. Tally marks. Tally marks are a quick way to note the numbers in groups of five. For the first four numbers, we draw four vertical lines. And for the fifth number, we draw a diagonal line across the four lines. Have a look at some examples. Here we have a table with the numbers and the tally marks associated to them. As you can see, till four, we draw four vertical marks. As you can see, till the number four, we draw four vertical lines. But for number five, we draw a diagonal line across the four lines. This makes it one group of five. For six, we draw another vertical line with the already existing group of five. Tally marks are a quick way to count the number of items in each category. Have a look at this tally chart. This tally chart shows the types of flowers students of a class like. We have the flowers, rose, lily, dahlia, gladiola, and orchids. Tally marks for each of them are 12 for rose, 8 for lily, 6 for dahlia, 3 for gladiola, and 2 for orchids. Now I hope you understood that. Let's test it with an exercise. Here is a table of 20 students giving data about their favorite ice cream. Let's complete the tally chart and answer the questions. Ice cream flavors over here. Chocolate, mango, strawberry, and vanilla. For chocolate, we have two groups and a single vertical line, which means 11. For mango, we have one group and one vertical line, which is six. For strawberry, we have two vertical lines, which means two. And for vanilla, we have one vertical line, which means one. So 11 students like chocolate, six like mango, two like strawberry, and one student likes vanilla.